What does the Bible say? While Jesus did not specifically teach on homosexuality, his establishment of the Genesis passage as the fundamental passages on marriage leaves no doubt to the outcome. This is what is stated in Romans chapter 1, verse 26 to 27, which says, For this reason God gave them up to vile passions, for even their women exchanged the natural use for what is against nature. Likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of the women burned in their lust for one another, men with men committing what is shameful and receiving themselves the penalty of their error, which was due. These references indicate that homosexual acts are unnatural, shameful, and contrary to sound doctrine and deny entrance to the kingdom of God. This being so, they cannot be the basis of a Christian marriage sanctioned by God's church. The church exists to save people, not to bless the means of their damnation. No marriage can be sanctioned by the church if the very basis of marriage involves acts that put the couple outside of eternal salvation. No matter what our society may legislate, the law of God is clear that a marriage is between a man and a woman, not a same-sex union. No church that takes the Bible seriously can sanction a union between homosexuals and lesbians. God will judge any society that institutes same-sex marriage. As Christians, we do not ignore or, or condone sin. Rather, we share the love of God and act as ministers of reconciliation. This is stated in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 18. We point to the forgiveness of sins that is available to all, including homosexuals, through Jesus Christ. We speak the truth in love, and this is in Ephesians chapter 4, verses 15 and contend for truth with gentleness and respect. And this is taken from 1 Peter chapter 3, verses 15. The Bible clearly states that marriage is between male and female and is meant to be lifelong. If God had intended humans to be fulfilled through both heterosexual and homosexual marriage, he would have designed our bodies to allow reproduction through both means. This is stated in Mark chapter 10 verse 16 which states, but from the beginning of creation God made them male and female. Islamic law prohibits marriage between same-sex couples. Homosexuality itself is criminalized.